Okay, so uh, someone reached out, and I think they want to know about DOGE. DOGE. Yeah, you know, Department of Government Efficiency. Right. So, uh, looks like somebody sent us a website, maybe yeah. a promotional documenting some kind. We're going to do a deep dive on this thing. Okay. It's uh, it's kind of a wild document. Right. There's some uh, some bold claims about how to fix the national debt. I'm intrigued. There's a uh, billionaire leader. Oh. And even a little bit of Dogecoin sprinkled in. Oh. So oh. are you ready to dive in? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's do it. All right. So first off, this document claims that uh, the U.S. is sitting on like a $35 trillion debt. Right. And it says, this is a result of, and I'm going to quote this directly from the document. Right. Poor management, price gouging of government projects and economically greedy government. Ooh. So like right off the bat, they are not pulling any punches. No, they're not. This is. It's interesting because, uh, yes. you know, there's a lot of factors that contribute to the national debt. And it's easy to say that the government is economically greedy, but there's a lot more to it, you know, right. mismanagement, inefficient spending, you know, all that. Yeah. Well, and it's, it specifically calls out price gouging. Yeah. Um, so I don't do you think that this document is referring to like specific instances of that or are they just sort of making a generalization? Well, I mean, they don't give us any specific examples in the document. So it's hard to say whether they're referring to anything specific. No, it's more of a general statement about government spending. You know, okay. they could be referring to any number of things. All right. So then the document goes on to say that this DOGE is going to generate $2 trillion to tackle this problem. $2 trillion? $2 trillion. Wow. Yeah. Is that even possible? Well, that's a really big number. That's you know, I mean, the... Uh, current federal budget is about six trillion dollars yep. so to generate an additional two trillion dollars uh -huh. that would be a significant increase right and they don't really explain how they're going to do that you know they just kind of throw that number out there uh -huh. but they don't really provide any specifics on how they're going to achieve that speaking of throwing stuff out there mm -hmm. uh there's a whole section called meme gallery meme gallery yeah and another one called tokenomics with a uh cryptocurrency address and the term dojilon Dow Elon. Interesting. What is going on? Well, it seems like they're trying to appeal to a younger audience. Okay. You know, maybe people who are into internet culture and cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And tokenomics refers to the economics of a cryptocurrency. Or so how it's created, how it's distributed, how it's managed. Yeah. So the fact that they're including the section suggests that they might be considering using cryptocurrency as a solution to the national debt problem. Right. And, you know, and the term Doge Elon obviously refers to Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon Musk. And Dogecoin. So, which suggests that they might be thinking about using Dogecoin specifically. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So they mentioned in the document that Trump wants to make Elon Musk Wait. the head of DOGE. Wow. Yeah. And they mention that uh, on September 6, 2024, 5.21 p.m., yeah. Trump announced his plan. Okay. Didn't that date already pass? It did, yeah. No. September 6th has already come and gone. I did a little bit of research. Okay. I couldn't find any record of this happening. Oh, really? So okay. it, it makes you kind of wonder about the legitimacy of this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, if they're making false claims about something like that, yeah. it makes you wonder what else they might be exaggerating or fabricating. Well, while we're fact-checking things, uh, there's a quote in the document that's attributed to Elon Musk. Okay. Where he says, just the interest payments on debt are 23% of all federal tax revenue. 23%. Is and, that true? Well, interest payments on the national debt are definitely a significant portion of federal spending. Okay. But I'm not sure if that number is entirely accurate. Okay. The exact percentage can fluctuate depending on interest rates and the size of the debt. Right. But the point is that a large chunk of our tax dollars mm -hmm. goes toward just paying the interest on the debt. Right. Which means that there's less money available to spend on other things. So let's uh, let's try and put this all together here. Okay. We got this DOGE thing. Right. It's claiming to solve the national debt problem. Uh-huh. Throwing around some pretty big numbers. Definitely. It's name dropping Elon Musk and cryptocurrency. Yeah. And it's even using memes. <laughs> It's a very interesting document. Yeah, what's your take on this whole DOGE idea? Honestly, it feels more like a marketing pitch than a well-thought-out plan. Okay. You know, there's a lot of buzzwords and promises, but not a lot of substance. Right. It's not clear how they're actually going to achieve their goals. Yeah. And some of the claims they make are questionable. So what do you think about all this? 
I don't know. It's hard to say. We unpacked the claims, highlighted the inconsistencies, yeah. explored the potential implications. Do you see DOGE as a viable solution or is it something more speculative? I think it's something that warrants further investigation. Yeah, I think so too. You know, we need to do more research. Uh, we need to look into the people involved. Yeah. We need to try to verify the claims that they're making. Absolutely. Keep digging, do your research, and uh, see what you uncover. That's the beauty of a deep dive, isn't it? Exactly. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. This has been the deep dive, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.